here we go. Good morning. And today we will continue with the Proverbs number seven. It's called for another warning about immoral woman. I do not know how, but the Proverbs is always remind us about the immoral woman. I do not know, but let's we just try to listen to this. Follow my advice, my sons. Always treasure my commands. Obey my commands and life. Guard my instruction as you guard your own eyes. Tie them on your finger as reminder. Write them within your heart. Love wisdom like a sister make inside a beloved member of your family let them protect you from an affair with an immoral woman from listening to the flattery of a promiscuous woman while i was at the windows of my house looking through the curtain i saw some young naive young men and in one particular who lacked of common sense. He was crossing the street near the house of an immoral woman, strolling down the path by her house. It was at twilight in the evening as deep darkness fell. The woman approaching, seductively distressed of us and slight of heart, she was the breast rebellious type never content to stay at home. She is often in the street and the market, soliciting at every corner. She threw her arms around him and kisses him. And with a brazen look, she said, I just make my peace offering and fulfill my vow. You are the one I was looking for. I came out to find you and here you are. My bed is spread with a beautiful blanket with colored sheets from of Egyptian line. And I have perfumed my bed with mirror, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink our fill of love until morning. Let's enjoy each other careless, for my husband is not at home. He was away on a long trip. He has taken a wallet full of money with him and won't return until the latter of his month. So she seduced him with her pretty speech and enticed him with her flattery. He followed at her once like an ox going to the slaughter. She was like a stack, stack, a moose, caught in a trap awaiting the arrows that would pierce its heart. He was like a bird flying into a snare, like knowing it would cost him life. So listen, my sons, pay attention to my words. Don't let your heart stray away toward her. Don't wander down her by her wayward path. Many men have been her victims. Her house is the root to the grave, and her bedroom is the den of the dead. That is what Proverbs 7 saying. And tomorrow we will continue about wisdom call for a hearing. Listen as a wisdom call out, hear as understanding, raise her voice. On a hilltop below the road, she takes and stands at the crossroad, and by the gates at the entrance to the town. To the town. On the road leading in, she cries aloud, I call to you, all of you. I raise my voice to all people, you simple people, you Good judgment. You foolish people show some understanding. Listen to me, for I have important things to tell you. 
everything I say is right, but I speak the truth and detest every kind of deception. My advice is a whole song. There is nothing devious or crooked in it. My words are plain to anyone with understanding, clear to those with knowledge. Choose my instruction, rather than silver and knowledge, rather than pure gold. Choose my instruction rather than silver, and choose knowledge rather than pure gold. Wisdom is far more valuable than rubbish. Nothing you desire can compare with it. Wisdom lies together with good judgment. I know where to discover the knowledge and discernment. Thank you.